Hi, my name's Trev Hutchings, and this is my guide to creating a custom sample drum kit in BandLab. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an awesome custom drum kit using the sampler. At the bottom of the home screen, tap on the plus icon, then tap on the sampler icon. Or below the bottom track on the track mixer screen, tap on the plus icon and then tap on sampler. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the pencil icon and then at the bottom of the screen, tap on browse. Swipe your finger over the tabs at the top of the screen and then tap on the Kick tab. To listen to a click sample, tap on the Play icon to the left of the sample name. Tap on a kick sample to add it to your library, then tap on it again to import it into Sample Pad 1. To import your own drum sample, at the bottom right of the screen, Tap on the pencil icon, then at the bottom of the screen, tap on Import Audio or Video. Now tap on your drum sample audio file on your phone to import it to Sample Pad 1. Tap on the pad to hear the sample. At the bottom of the screen, press your finger on the Pitch Knob icon and drag your finger up the screen to increase the pitch or down the screen to lower the pitch of the sample. At the bottom of the screen, press your finger on the volume knob icon and drag your finger up the screen to make the sample louder or down the screen to make the sample quieter. Next, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Edit. Press your finger on the trim markers in the Audio Wave window and drag the trim markers if you only want to use a section of the sample. Then tap on Crop. Then tap on Normalize. Press your finger on the dot on the slider to the right of the word attack and drag your finger to the right until it says about 10 milliseconds in the pop-up message. Drag the dot to the left if you want the sample to have more punch or drag the dot to the right if you want the sample to be softer. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on One Shot, then at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Done. Now tap on Pad 2. At the bottom left of the screen, tap on Import Audio or Video if you want to import your own wave sample. Or, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Browse. At the top left of the screen, tap on the X icon, then scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Snare tab. Tap on a snare sample to add it to your library, then tap on it again to import it into Sample Pad 2. Near the bottom of the screen, press your finger on the Pitch knob icon if you want to change the pitch of the new sample. Then press your finger on the volume knob icon and move your finger up or down the screen to adjust the volume of the snare sample to match 
the bass drum sample. Next, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Edit. And if necessary, trim, crop and normalise your sample. Move the dot on the slider to the right of the word attack to the right until it says 10 milliseconds on the pop-up message. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on One Shot. Then at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Done. Next, tap on Pad 5. At the bottom left of the screen, tap on Import Audio or Video if you want to import your own closed hi-hat sample. Or at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Browse. At the top left of the screen, tap on the X icon, then scroll through the tabs at the top of the screen and tap on the Hi-Hats tab. Tap on a closed hi-hat sample to add it to your library, then tap on it again to import it into Sample Pad 5. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on Edit. Near the bottom of the screen, tap on One Shot. At the top of the screen, tap on Color to change the color of the pad, then tap on Group and tap on One in the pop-up menu. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on Done. Next, tap on Pad 6. At the bottom left of the screen, tap on Import Audio or Video if you want to import your own open hi-hat sample. Or at the bottom right of the screen, tap on Browse. Tap on an open hi-hat sample to add it to your library, then tap on it again to import it into Pad 6. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on Edit, then near the bottom of the screen, tap on One Shot. At the top of the screen, tap on Color to change the color of the pad, then tap on Group and tap on One in the pop-up menu. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on Done. The closed hi-hat and the open hi-hat are put in the same group number because any pads in the same group number will only play one at a time. So the open hi-hat pad will stop playing when the closed hi-hat pad is played. Now continue to add tom samples and cymbal samples. Once you've added all your drum sounds to your pads, go back and select each pad in turn and press on the pan knob and drag your finger up or down the screen and set the pan as follows. Set the bass drum to center and the snare drum to 20% L. Set the open and closed hi-hats to 40% L. The high tom to 10% L, the low tom to 10% R, and the floor tom to 30% R. The ride cymbal to 40% R, the high crash to 30% L, and the low crash to 20% R. Then, at the bottom right of the screen, tap on the tick icon. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the step sequencer icon. Tap on the row number to hear the drum sample for that row. Then tap on the gray squares to add your drum notes to the step sequencer. Then, at the top right of the screen, tap on the X icon. Finally, at the bottom of the screen, tap on FX. Then, add a preset FX, or tap on Create underneath the None icon, then tap on the Plus icon, and add your own effects, such as Space Maker Reverb.
If you've enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers.